सो हेलो गाइज माई नेम इज शर्मिन एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी बिल्डिंग अ यू आई फॉर अ फॉर्म ओके सो लेट मी शो यू वट वी विल बी मेकिंग टूडे सो दिस इज द डिज़ाइन दैट वी विल बी मेकिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच ओके दिस इज नॉट अ वर्किंग फ्रॉम वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू मेक अ वर्किंग फॉर्म ओके दिस इज जस्ट अ यू आई फॉर योर एच टी एम एल आई एन सी एस एस प्रैक्टिस इफ यू गाइज आर अ बिगनर इन एच टी एम एल एन सी एस एस देन डू वॉच दिस वीडियो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड यू विल ऑल्सो लर्न हाउ टू स्टाइल योर डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स ओके यूजिंग सी एस एस सो या वी विल बी यूजिंग फ्लेक्स ओवर यूर एंड वील बी स्टाइलिंग आर इनपुट्स एंड या वी विल लर्न एज वी डू इट ओके सो कैन यू सी आई हैव अ ब्लैंक पेज ओवर यूर आई हैव नथिंग सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एंड वी विल बी बिल्डिंग दिस टूडे ओके अ स्मॉल फॉर्म राइट सो या विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम एंड विदाउट टॉकिंग मोर लेट्स गो टू वी एस कोड एंड सी हाव यू कैन मेक दिस फ्रॉम स्क्रैच ओके सो या वट वी विल डू इज आई ऑलरेडी हैव अ टू फाइल्स क्रिएटेड दैट इज वी आई हैव माई एच टी एम एल फाइल दैर इज नथिंग फैंसी ओवर यूर दिस इज वॉट वी ऑलवेज यूज दीज आवर दीज आर आवर मेटा टैग्स एंड दिस आई हैव लिंक माई स्टाइल शीट ओवर यूर दैट इज दिस एंड दिस इज एम टी एज वेल सो एंड दिस इज अ टाइटल ऑफ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड टूडे ओके so now to start we start with uh, and if you are wondering what is this then this is the background image that we are going to use so i have kept it ready so that we don't have to go and search on unsplash and we waste our time right so and if you guys don't know what unsplash is then unsplash uh, dot com you can go there and find a uh, free uh, images to use which are copyright free you can use them in your projects if you want okay so yeah with that said let's uh, start now first whenever you have to build something look at the design and analyze what you can do okay to uh, make this design don't just go and start coding okay then things become a mess if you do that so here first let's analyze the design now to make this design what we will need is we will need a background image right that we can uh, give it to our body and then here we have the main form so this will be these will be our form input fields right and this will be our submit button and this will be our title for example in h1 or h2 whatever you wish to use and this will be an other div right the one which you can see uh, the black color over here right which has some opacity that will be our div and inside of the div we will have a form and we have to place this div in the center of our entire body okay so yeah let's start what we said is first we will give our body the background image that we need okay so background image we say url and here we will say bg.jpg and when you save and you refresh you see we get a black color thing right because there are many other styles we need to still give to our background so always remember do not write your styles in your style sheet directly okay as a beginner i used to make this mistake that i used to you know type my styles all and make changes i used to save and then go to my web browser and then refresh over there again and again which was a very bad practice which will really slow down your work but uh, when i started working at my workplace and i had my friends over there who taught me how you actually have to write your css that is in your inspect element okay this is what has to be everything for a web developer okay you can find the problem to all of your solution in your inspect okay so here we start with our body okay so yeah always remember don't write your styles in your style sheet save come here and refresh again and again in place of that write in your inspect just observe the way i am uh, giving styles to the element you will understand how you can use inspect to write your uh, styles okay so here we start with we have the background image right when you hover over it can you see the background image is showing like it is highlighting so here let's give it a height of 100 vh for example and we give it a width of auto and we give a background size of cover over here and we give it a background repeat of no repeat okay so we don't have the background repeating again and again so we wrote all the styles we just we either close the inspect and we see if our page looks good and yeah it looks good so what you can do is you can open your inspect again and you give the styles to your body right okay, so what you can do is you can just copy all the styles from over here and you can paste it in your style sheet 
and you save it and you come back over here and you refresh you see you have your thing ready right we have our background ready our first step is done now the second step we need to do is we need to have this div and we need to have our our form elements right our inputs inside of it so what we will do is we go back to our html we start with a div and let's give this a class of a form container for example and inside of this we will have a form let's not give it an action right now and here we want input fields right so we say input text and here the first one will be our name right so just observe we don't have any labels for our input right we have placeholders right so to do that to give those placeholders what you can do is we have another attribute for our uh, input element that is placeholder and here you can mention whatever you want that will be reflected in your placeholder so can you see whatever we write in the placeholder it shows over here so if you don't write the placeholder for example and we save can you see you cannot see anything inside the placeholder right so this is the placeholder we want for the first one name then the second field our type is email over here and the place for let's give this a name of email as well and our placeholder will also say email right the third input field that we need is for our number so you can give it a type of tell and for example we give it a name of mobile and we don't need an id for now so placeholder and for the placeholder you can give it a name of mobile for example and our last field is a text area right our last field is a text area over here can you see we have phone and then we have text area okay so this says phone and not mobile so let's change this to a uh, phone over here and text area let's give it a name of message and we also need a placeholder for this one as well which says message okay we save and we refresh can you see we get our fields uh, ready over here when you see they are all jumbled up right so we can just give a br after each of them to have to get each of them on on the next line so you see we are getting close to our structure right not really close but yeah we will reach there for sure so let's start giving styles to our form container okay and as i told you we are not supposed to write our styles in the style sheet we directly go to the inspect and write our styles over there okay so we select the form container this is the plus that we used to add styles we add the we click on the plus button we get the class name now here what we want is we want our background color to be black for example right and we want it width to width to be to be 50% and we want it to be in the middle so we give it a margin of auto or else to bring it in the uh, center you can do one more thing because you want it to be a uh, center vertically as well right not just horizontally we want it to be uh, in the center vertically also so to the body you can give it a display of flex if you want or you can make an additional okay let's make an additional rather than giving flex to the body it might create a lot of problems in the future so like if you want to add any other things it can make a problem so here we give we make another div okay with the name of class which has a class with the name of flex and here let's refresh to get that class or to get that div okay to that div we give it a height of 100 vh we give it a display of flex we give it a justify content center and we give it an align items of center or you can give it an okay let's give it an align item of center okay so we got this done let's copy the styles over from here okay we copy our styles from here and paste it in our uh, css we have the body then we have the flex div right you refresh and when you close this can you see our form is exactly in the center of the page right 
now uh, let's start with giving style to our a uh, form container over here so here you add the class and here we want the background color to be uh, black for example let's use the rgb uh, format because uh, we want our background to not be solid right we need to give it some opacity for example so for a, uh, we give it a 0.7 for example opacity okay the last uh, field in the rgb will be how much opacity like you want to give your uh, div okay so that is your form container style then let's give it some padding of uh, for example uh, 10 pixels from the top and bottom and 20 pixels from the side and let's for now let's just copy these styles and paste it in our style sheet we save we refresh we close the inspect and we see how it looks okay so this is how it looks like right now now let's first okay we forgot to add the h1 over here or h2 whatever you want to use you can add that let's add that inside the form container uh, because that is what has a black color background right and we want our h1 or our heading to be inside of it so you can give it a register your text we save it and we refresh we get it over there right you cannot see it right now because because it's in black so we will give a style to that one as well so let's start with uh, styling our giving style to our input and also we didn't give our submit button so here let's have a br and let's have a submit uh, button over here we can say input and type can be a uh, submit and here let's give it a name of submit and we refresh can you see we get a submit button here as well right now to start what we can do is uh, first let's style our input so just click on the input you get input over here right so what you can do is you can uh, have this class and then say input and what you want the input to have uh, that is a width of 100% okay and let's give it a box sizing of border box okay can you see all our uh, input have a width of 100% now so we can just copy these and we can paste that in our style sheet right now the next step you can do over here is okay we didn't have it at control 0 so we were i mean our screen was really big so it was very much difficult to style so i just made it of the default size now you can see things more clearly right so now just target this h2 what we want our h2 to have is we want it to have a color of um, white so that it is clearly visible all right so we then copy the style from over here and just make sure where do you paste your uh, styles while writing your style sheet this is uh, what really matters when you come back to that again right it actually really doesn't matter but if you want to keep your css really clean then just write your code systematically okay so we had our h2 before our inputs but inside our form container right so we write it over here between both of those right and we want all of the things to be in the center so to our form container we can give it a text align of a uh, center okay and we refresh so this is what you have right now okay so this i think we are a bit close to our design right and here uh, let's use an h1 instead of h2 and make sure you just don't universally you know uh, target your elements just use a class before that so that it doesn't affect any other h1 or h2 that you use in your page so here you want the h1 which is present in our uh, form container only that h1 has to have this style okay so here in case of h2 let's make this an h1 and we refresh so right here we go and our input let's see why our in, uh, text area looks like this so we go to our text area down over here and let's try and give it a width of for example 
and again we have to give the same thing that is box sizing of a uh, border box so that it takes the proper width right so can you see the text area and the input over here have the st same styling right they have the they have styles which are almost same so don't repeat it okay don't repeat the same style again and again what you can do is you can give a comma and you can give the or uh, you can give two different class names to the same style over here right and you refresh you are good to go right you have the styles applied so yeah that is how you give style to it now the next thing is we want padding around it right it doesn't really look good like they look really tiny so you can have some padding for example 10 pixels on the uh, top and bottom and for example on the right left you want 10 pixels or 15 pixels maybe and let's give it a 12 pixel on the top and bottom okay so you copy this you see where it is it's in the style sheet uh, line number 23 and this are the classes to which you have applied those styles that is our uh, line number 23 and we paste it inside of this okay so we refresh can you see it got applied now below each input we want some margin okay we want some margin of bottom for example 5 pixels so that we have space between our inputs so 5 6 now um, it is very important to understand the difference between margin and padding margin is given outside of the element and padding is given inside of your element okay so if you guys don't really understand the difference between margin padding and the entire box model uh, then i suggest you that first go and understand how the box model works because that is very 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 important to understand when you are uh, learning css so i have a video on box model in css i'll put the link in the description box below you can go and watch that okay so you will understand how it actually your margin padding uh, border and all these things work okay so yeah we have want it to have a margin bottom of seven pixels so again over here we want it to the same thing we refresh can you see and let's just increase the width of our container um okay so what has a width we haven't given a width to our container to our form container over here okay so let's give it a width of 100 percent and see what happens it takes up the entire space right so you can adjust your width accordingly so for example we want it to be of a width of 40 percent okay of the entire page and it will remain in the center because of the flex that we have given it right so we so we are pretty much close to the design that we have made right it doesn't look similar or identical yet but we are close right so now what is the mistake that we are making we can you see the padding difference right so and we even have more gap between our uh, inputs and the submit button is blue in color so just hover over this and let's give it a let's give it more padding from the uh, sides so for example 40 pixels so you can just copy this and you can see it's on style sheet uh, line number 14 so here 14 and this is what we will have to replace right so we save this and we refresh okay and here also below our inputs we need to give it a bit of more margin right so for example we can give it a margin of 15 pixels so it's on line number 24 so we go to our style sheet and we change this to 15 you can copy paste or you can change whatever you feel comfortable with you can do that okay so here we go now we have to change the style of our submit button okay so we click on that we inspect that and we have the input type submit now this is how you style your uh, submit button so let's just come down and okay let's just pick the color from over here okay so we copy the color from here and here we give it a color we don't we won't give it a color because it will add it to the uh, text we give it a background color of blue and can you see we have that um, gray color line around it that is the border so we say border we don't need a border so we say a border of none and we want the color to be white of the text we want the font size to be for example let's try 20 pixels okay and font weight to be bold 
so it's a bit clear and we have a slight border radius of 3 pixels for example now what this border radius is doing is it is giving curves okay when you didn't have the border pixel um, border radius can you see it's a proper square and it has those pointed ends on all the four sides this is what i'm talking about it has pointed ends right on all the four sides but when you give it a border radius for example 3 pixels or if you really go high that is you give 37 pixels then it is rounded right the corners so here we just give it a slight uh, border radius for example of 4 pixels so that you don't have those sharp corners over there and okay we are done I think the button looks good now so we can just copy these styles and paste it in our uh, style sheet below the input input and text area style okay so this is how you uh, make it right now this says it's a message so let's make this placeholder look uh, more better we save this okay now can you see the placeholder over here all of the placeholders have the same styling now how do you style your placeholders but here can you see this message looks a bit different than the other ones and this line that you are having when you click on it is your outline okay you can give an outline of none if you don't want that so here what you can do is uh, to style your placeholder of text area you can take the text area and you can use the placeholder pseudo class over here and you can give it a font fam family of we just see what font family we have been using so it's a sans serif that we are using for the others up there so you see everything got same now everything looks similar right nothing looks different and the message doesn't look odd anymore right so yeah let's paste that style over here and we refresh and okay the form is the form has a little bit less width in our style sheet so we can just make it a 30 percent instead of 40 we copy and it's on st uh, style sheet number uh, line number 14 so here instead of 40 you want it to be 30 and we refresh so can you see we get the same design right nothing different so yeah this is as easy as this uh, this could be done even more faster styling this form is just you know it takes a few minutes like 10 to 15 minutes and your form will be ready so this html css is this easy once you start to understand and once you start to practice you will be really good to go and you will be able to style your things really fast i will for sure be coming up with um, a few projects in html and css to practice and i will also show you the best uh, tips and i will also give you the pe best tips on how you can really write your html and css uh, to you know make your websites really fast and uh, yeah that's it for today i hope you guys got something out of this video and if you guys uh, learned something new then do not forget to uh, press that like button and do subscribe to my channel i'll be coming up with uh, videos related to web development frequently as i do right now so uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching and let's meet in the next video and have a good day guys so bye guys